Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And we're back in Fern Bus Simulator. Now, I really wanted this video to be about the next patch. I was really hoping that I could record a video and give you guys some information about what was going to be in the patch, maybe where they're at with it, uh, maybe when it was going to be released or at least sent to Sony and Microsoft. Unfortunately, we, uh, we have no information because on March 30th, Fabian said in his Discord, the Simnex Discord, that there would be an update over the weekend. Great. I was excited about that. I was like, finally, we're going to get some information. And then March 31st, Friday, literally the day after, I woke up in the morning and there was an announcement on his Discord saying that he was just too tired from his trip to New York to, to do any kind of video. So there wouldn't be an update this weekend. Um, you know, he could have put out a video on Sunday. You know what I mean? Like, he, he knew on Friday that he would just be too tired for the rest of the weekend. You know? I mean, there's been times that I've been super exhausted, but I can't say that I'm going to be tired for the next two days. But it is what it is. We have no update. I guess we're going to have to wait maybe sometime this week, maybe next weekend. I don't know. Um, this is still right up there with the lack of communication from these developers. And I know that I've had some people, you know, kind of uh, disagree with me on that, that they feel that they they shouldn't communicate uh, because then if they say something and if it doesn't happen, then people are mad, blah, blah, blah. But it, just a simple, yeah, we're still working on it. You know what I mean? I think that's all we really want to know. Instead, they say nothing at all. And if you go into their Discord, um, TML, they won't say anything. And anybody that asks about it, they get met with kind of rude comments saying, you know, check the announcements page. From people that don't work from TML that apparently think that they're like the gatekeepers of TML. And uh, they, they protect them a lot, which I get. And I mean, in a way, I guess it's kind of cool in a way. I don't know. I don't really understand it. So... Instead of giving you guys information about the patch, what I am going to do is talk about some things that I've discovered about the game that I thought was kind of interesting and I want to share with you guys. So, first of all, I've been trying to find content creators that do content on this game. Um, and it's really difficult to find anybody that speaks English that does content on the game at all. Um, I was kind of curious what the whole Unreal Engine 5 thing, how it was doing on PC... So I did find one content creator, the Diesel Viking, I believe his name is. Um, he was pretty cool. I, uh, I watched a past live stream of his, and it was when the first beta came out for the Unreal Engine. Not the first beta, this, this last beta that came out for Unreal Engine 5 on Fernbus. And he, uh, he wasn't too happy with it. And the very interesting thing was... Everything in that beta, all the issues that they're having in that beta, we're having on console. And they've never had those issues on the PC before until it went to Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so now in the Unreal Engine 5 beta on PC, they're having a lot of FPS drop, a lot of stutters, a lot of lag spikes. They're having a lot of the same AI issues that we're having, right? AI just stopping for no reason in the middle of the road, causing accidents. The AI that just totally wigs out and just it looks like they hit a patch of ice and goes spinning out and all that. They're experiencing that on, uh, on PC now. And according to the Diesel Viking, he said prior to that, when it was still on Unreal Engine 4, they weren't having any of those issues. The game ran fairly smoothly. The AI wasn't like that. It's just been since the uh, quote-unquote upgrade to Unreal Engine 5. And just to note this, um, when they upgraded the bus to Unreal Engine 5, apparently it's having the same issues. So TML is having a lot of issues with Unreal Engine 5, unfortunately. Um, now, again, according to the Diesel Viking, he said that he's played other games on PC that are on Unreal Engine 5 and they're not having an issue. It just seems to be the TML games. You know, I can't comment on that because here on console, 
we don't have we don't have many games running on Unreal Engine 5. You know, we have Fortnite. I know about Fortnite. I know Fernbus. I don't know of another game right now on a console running on Unreal Engine 5. So if you guys know of any games running on Unreal Engine 5 right now on PS5 or Xbox, other than Fortnite and Fernbus, then uh, let me know. But obviously, Fortnite is running fine on it. They're not having an issue. So that takes me to my next point. TML is supposed to be a very small studio, like 10 to 15 developers. That's it. That's what's working for the studio. And that is, that's an incredibly small studio. So the question I have is why are you spreading yourself so thin? Um, They have three games, Fern Bus, Tourist Bus, and The Bus. And the thing is, they don't perfect anything before they move on, or they don't perfect anything and then make it better. So, for example, the, the issues that Fernbus had, they carried over to Tourist Bus. They didn't fix anything. And the issues that they had with Tourist Bus, they seemed to bring on over to the bus. Now, I guess the bus is in a lot better shape than the past two games. Um, but it just it's just curious to me, like, why, why spread yourself so thin if you're such a small team? And now... Why did you bring Fern Bus and Tourist Bus to console and, you know, th- these have to be worked on? Not just that, they said that they're going to continue to add new things to Fern Bus, which is great. But again, spreading yourself very thin considering you're such a small team. So uh, I don't really understand that. Now, one of the things that I hear a lot in Discord is the fact that Fern Bus is ported over to console by a different developer, okay? And it's it's out of TML's hands. As a matter of fact, uh, it's the other developer in Aerosoft. They're the ones that are working on this. They're the ones that are working on the patches, blah, blah, blah. TML doesn't know anything about it. Look it. Th- th- these are people in the Discord that are trying to pull the wool over console players' eyes because they think console players are idiots, obviously. Um, instead, of course, the competition. When they released that game for PS4 and Xbox One or One X or whatever it, the old one was called, I can't remember. Um, it, I don't think they had another company port it over, and they didn't do a good job. They didn't do a very good job. They couldn't figure it out, so they didn't do a good job. So they decided for the next-gen consoles, they would hire a different company that knows about consoles, and they would port it over for them, and that's what they did. Now... Just because they had a different developer port the game over, that doesn't mean that Kunos just washes their hands of it. Well, it's not not up to us anymore, okay? No, because every time that game gets a patch, guess what? Kunos and 505, they provide the information because it's still their game. Listen, when I start up Fernbus, I see Unreal Engine, and then after that, it comes up TML Studios, and then it comes up Aerosoft. There's no other developer's name attached to this. So if it's all on that studio, then what the hell does TML even have their name on the game for? Right? If they have nothing to do with it, then why is their name even on the game? That's that's complete BS. I I don't I don't buy it at all. Um, you know it's still their game. All they did was they had another company that knows about consoles, hopefully, port it over. Which do they really? Because, I mean, they can't do anything that other games have already done on console, right? We can't map any of the buttons to the wheel. We can't map any buttons to the controller. Um, you know, we can't have force feedback on the wheels. Uh, we have this horrible UI, this cross-system UI. You know, it's just, it's not optimized for console. It's just literally the PC game ported directly over to console. They didn't do anything... With the console players in mind, I'll, I'll tell you that you could tell, uh, you could tell just by playing the game that they didn't. And again, guys, please don't get me wrong. <laughs> I absolutely love the game. I'm enjoying the game, and that's the problem. I'm enjoying the game so much that I I see all the things that could be improved on if you have a developer that just wants to. You know, if if they really want to, you know. But I don't get that feeling from them at all like when i'm in their discord when you see the things people say 
and see how the developers react. I just don't get that from them. I don't get I don't get that feeling that they want to change anything like core in the game. Now, I could be wrong because again, like I said, they're looking into being able to map the cruise control and stuff like that to the D-pad, which that would be great, you know. But I'm just saying, moving forward, I do feel that they need to do something to make these games a little more friendly on console. I mean, if they care about console players at all, which I really don't think they do. Again, just judging from their attitudes in Discord, I don't feel that way. But uh, if they do, they should try to do something. But I don't feel that it's... (laughs) It has anything to do with the company that ported it over. I mean, I still think TML must have some kind of say in the game, you know. Um, So, I do think that they used the Unreal Engine 5 to hype up the game and maybe boost sales on the console side. And uh, it's funny because even the, the Diesel Viking, he mentioned that in his live stream, you know, kind of saying that, why do they hype up Unreal Engine 5 so much when they're not utilizing anything from Unreal Engine 5? You know, they don't have new assets in the game. They're not using Unreal Engine 5's lighting. They're not using Nanite technology. They're not using anything from Unreal Engine 5. And it's not even performing as well as it did on Unreal Engine 4. So why are they hyping up the Unreal Engine 5 thing so much? I think they were because they, uh, they wanted to boost the sales. And I do feel that putting Tourist Bus and Fern Bus on consoles is going to boost their finances to help them put more money into the bus. That's just my personal feelings. Like I said, I could be wrong. This whole video, guys, is like my opinions. Okay? It's just my opinions. I don't have any facts because I, you know, no one will tell you anything, unfortunately. As I said, I I like the game and... You know, people that are are passionate about games is because they're passionate about games they like. You know, if it's a game that you really don't like, then you're not going to care. You're just going to chalk it up as a waste of your money and you're not going to play it anymore. But when people are constantly saying, you know, fix the game, fix the game, patch the game, fix this, fix that, it's because people are enjoying the game and they would like to see the game improve. You know, that's that's all it is. And I think any developer, they should be happy that they have a game that's being received that well, that people like enough to want to see it, you know, become better. But again, guys, that's just my opinion. You guys have your opinions. I have mine. Feel free to drop them in the comments below as long as you're respectful about it. I read all the comments. I try to get back to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one, guys.